Hello, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if this is your first time. Thank you so much for stopping by, and if you are a regular viewer, thank you so much for stopping by again. Um, so I have been absent for quite a while. I think it's been about 9 or 10 days since I put up my last video. Um, and so I thought it was time just to do a bit of a very overdue catch up. I do apologize that so much time has lapsed since my last video went out. I really didn't realize how much time had gone by. Um, and then when I did finally realize how much time had gone by, um, I realized I needed to put something out uh, because it, it has been quite a while. Um, so today I thought I would do just sort of a general catch up video. Um, so a very belated Merry Christmas to all of you who celebrate and a Happy New Year as well. Uh, I hope everyone is doing well with the crazy weather that has been going through. Uh, where I live, it was not too bad. It was fairly mild. We had some very strong winds and um, pretty cold temperatures, but it wasn't anything um, super intense. Um, a pipe froze on Christmas Day, so that was very exciting. That was the only sort of weird weather thing that we had uh, to deal with. We had to deal with a little bit of um, water water um, water leaking um, in, in our basement, uh, but it was manageable. We got it all cleaned up, uh, but it was definitely sort of a fun, uh, fun Christmas Day happening. Uh, so I thought that I would just uh, show a couple of the books that I've read over the last couple of weeks, or last last two weeks, basically, um, as well as an update or an announcement for next year. Um, so as far as the books that I have been reading, I have uh, three books that I have read basically since my last video went up. Uh, and the first of those that I want to talk about briefly is Catherine the Great, Love, Sex, and Power by Virginia Rounding. Uh, so this is the fourth um, Catherine the Great biography that I have read. Um, and it's in the line of the four that I have read. This is my third favorite, which is, is kind of confusing. Um, I'm planning on uh, filming a video talking about some book recommendations on Catherine the Great. Um, so I'll talk about it more uh, in that video uh, uh, as well as the other others that I have read and sort of how they compare. Uh, but Catherine the Great uh, by Virginia Rounding. So Virginia Rounding, she is a fabulous uh, historian, a really great writer. She writes primarily about uh, historical female figures. Um, I have also read uh, her biography of Tsarina Alexandra, which was fantastic. Um, and so what she does here, which I really appreciate versus other Catherine the Great biographies that I have read, is she really analyzes Catherine the Great from uh, not necessarily a psychological point of view, but from very much um, a point of view of sort of analyzing her, her, her mental state, her childhood, her rearing, sort of how events when she was young shaped her personality, shaped her persona, to sort of guide her down the path that she eventually ended up taking uh, in life and sort of um, the the events and the surroundings and circumstances that gave her the mental acuity that she that she possessed which is uh, so so it's, it's incredibly interesting um so i'll talk about this one more when i do a Catherine the great dedicated video because i want to be able to talk about it um sort of while talking about the other biographies as well and tying them all together because I think that's going to give sort of the most interesting view of them. Uh, and then the the next book that I read, this was actually a Christmas gift. Um, this is Carolee Erickson's Her Little Majesty, The Life of Queen Victoria. Uh, so I was gifted this on Christmas and then I read it um, on December 26th. So the, the Monday following Christmas, I had the day off from work. So I just sat down and just read this from cover to cover. It's not super long. It's it's about 260 pages. Um, so it's very doable just to sort of sit down and read in an afternoon. This is one of the, um, I think this is number five or six for biographies that I have read about Queen Victoria. Um, and I really enjoyed this one because it focuses on Queen Victoria's younger years and her life growing up, um, which she had a very interesting very uh, sheltered childhood, especially considering 
sort of her prominent position in British society. Uh, so growing up, she was incredibly sheltered by her mother and their uh, comptroller, a man named John Conroy. Essentially, John Conroy and Queen Victoria's mother completely dictated every single aspect of Queen Victoria's life. She was never in a room alone until she was 18. Um, she was never allowed to leave the, the palace grounds unless she was accompanied by a, um, a maid or John Conroy or her mother herself. Um, so she had lots of very strict rules um, for her life. And so uh, having sort of this very strict suffocating childhood sort of played into some of her personality later in life of being very uh being very headstrong being very adamant as to what she wants also because of sort of the lack of a father figure because her father passed away and the very demanding nature of john conroy it gave victoria a very interesting attitude later on in life to her relationship with men she had both a very sort of fawning adoring relationship of uh with with men um and with her cabinet ministers as well as being very um sort of uh fierce and 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 standoffish towards them as well because of the sort of overreaching power that john conroy had uh, in her life and so i thought that was really interesting i felt that Carolee Erickson did a very good job giving a balanced view of Victoria in this as well as sort of a, a, an overview of her whole life. It, it does focus primarily on her um, um, beginning years, but it does go through uh, her entire life. But of course, it's under 300 pages, so there's really not a whole lot of time to talk about her entire life. She had an incredibly long and impressive reign. Um, and so this, you know, this is not going to be a, a detailed biography looking at every aspect of Queen Victoria's life. Um, but for being sort of a primer for Queen Victoria, this is absolutely excellent. And this also inspired me to do a video about uh, Queen Victoria and some book recommendations for her. So this will be one of the books that I'll talk about later on in a Queen Victoria video. Um, I just wanted to talk about it a little bit, uh, you know, just briefly here. Uh, and I'll talk about it in more detail and sort of how it compares to the other Queen Victoria biographies that I have read uh, down the line when I film that video. Uh, both the Queen Victoria video and the Catherine the Great video will most likely be... Um, maybe the first or second week of the new year. So fairly soon, but I, I'm going to push those uh, into the new year. I just want to have time to fully prepare for them. Uh, and then the most recent book that I have finished uh, was another Christmas gift, and that is Adam Zamoyski's Poland a History. Uh, this was absolutely fantastic. I have not read anything about Poland outside of reading about Poland while reading about other things. So in histories of World War II, I've read about Poland. In uh, biographies of Catherine the Great, I have read about Poland uh, because one of Catherine the Great's um, favorites and lovers, Augustus Stanislaw Poniatowski, was Polish, later becoming um, uh, king, of, king of Poland, King, king Augustus Stanislaw II. Uh, so I have never read anything just about Poland specifically. So this was absolutely fantastic to sort of get um, a feel for the country and the chaotic, very chaotic history of Poland, sort of starting as this gigantic, very powerful force in Europe, and then slowly being picked off until receding into almost complete um, anonymity in Europe to then sort of come back again in modern day with some strength while still being fairly small in the grand scheme of things. Um, a couple of things that I, I was not aware of as far as Poland went, uh, I, was not a, I was not aware that the Commonwealth of Poland in the 1500s was the, the largest Commonwealth in Europe. I did not realize that. That really surprised me. Um, I just, I didn't realize sort of the, the strength that Poland had, the weight that they had, especially politically in Europe for a very, very long time. Um, and, uh, sort of the very, even while they were so large because of the way their government structure wor worked and the way that they, they, they determined, you know, power, who was in power, they were strong, but they were very lacking in internal communication between 
uh, between territories within their commonwealth, between cities within their commonwealth, um, which I thought was really interesting. So this was the most recent book uh, that I finished. Uh, it was another Christmas gift as well. So I had a very bookish Christmas, which was fabulous. Um, so before I wrap up, I just want to give one uh, reminder for next year. There is a reading event called Classics and Company created by Anne Novella and myself that will be taking place next year starting January 1st. We will be reading Dangerous Liaisons. Um, if you would like to join in our uh, reading event for next year, I will leave a link to the Voxer server down below. Um, that is where we will be holding all of our discussions for our reading. Um, so we'll be doing eight books spread over the entire year. And for each book, we are having a special co-host to host alongside Anne Novella and myself. Um, so starting off, uh, for Dangerous Liaisons, we have Elizabeth from Bookins and Books, which I am very excited about. Um, so again, if you would like to join the conversations, if you want to read along with us for for uh, Dangerous Liaisons or for the whole event or just for one or two books, you can stay for as long as you want. You can leave whenever you want. You don't have to feel that you have to stay for the entire reading event. An entire year is quite a long time to commit to. Um, so if you, But if you feel interested and you would like to join, uh, I will leave the link to the Voxer server down below. And we would absolutely love to see you there. Um, and that's it for today. I just wanted to do a very quick catch up. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.